welcome to the mathematics in my channel in this video we are going to solve another interesting matrix question uh, this is uh, Princeton University USA uh, linear algebra exam question okay in the question uh, they ask uh, find the characteristic called polynomial and all the eigenvalues uh, real and complex eigenvalues of this matrix and also they ask uh, is uh, the matrix diagonalizable over the complex numbers okay first uh, we are going to find the characteristic polynomial so we can write uh, p lambda p lambda is equal to uh, the determinant of a minus lambda times i so uh, we can write a minus lambda times i minus t uh, here 0 1 here again uh, 1 minus t 0 0 1 minus t okay now uh, we can simplify this determinant so i'm going to take minus t cofactor so minus t here minus t 0 1 minus t then uh, 0 so 0 then 1 so plus 1 uh, 1 minus t 0 1 okay now if we simplify here we know uh, plus t square minus 0 so plus t square here minus t so minus t cube here we have only 1 so this is the characteristic polynomial so now we are going to find the eigenvalues so we know uh, p lambda uh, is equal to 0 when uh, uh, p lambda is equal to 0 uh, we should find the roots so uh, we know here yeah, t cube minus 1 is equal to 0 now we know t minus 1 t square plus t plus 1 is equal to 0 so t minus 1 is equal to 0 or uh, here we know t is equal to uh, minus 1 plus or minus the square root of uh, 1 minus 4 so minus 3 over 2 okay then uh, we can uh, write t is equal 1 or t is equal minus 1 plus or minus uh, here minus uh, instead of this minus sign we can write i square so square root of 3 times i over 2 okay then uh, we have three distinct eigenvalues uh, in the question they ask uh, this matrix uh, diagonalizable over the complex numbers <coughs> so uh, we know the theory uh, if we have uh, n by n matrix uh, and has n distinct eigenvalues uh, so no matter it is real or complex the matrix is diagonalizable uh, therefore uh, the answer is uh, this matrix A is diagonalizable uh, over the complex numbers okay then uh, this is part A then uh, part B uh, calculate A matrix A raised to the 2009 power okay now uh, we know A is equal to A matrix 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 so now if we take uh, a score a score we can write 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 times uh, same matrix 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 okay then uh, if we simplify this we will have uh, this is equal to 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 okay then uh, this is a square so now i am going to find a cube so we can write a cube is equal to a times a square so a if we know 0 0 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 and a square we know uh, this matrix so this is 0 1 0 0 0 1 one zero zero now if we simplify this uh, we will have the matrix 
1 we know this is uh, identity matrix 3 by 3 identity matrix okay then uh, we should evaluate a raised to the 2009 now we can write this is uh, a raised to the 3 times uh, 669 uh, plus uh, 2 plus 2 okay then we can write this is equal to a cube raised to the 669 power uh, times a square okay then we know um, a cube i so identity matrix raised to the 60, uh, 669 times a square okay then we know uh, this is also identity matrix and the answer is a square and uh, we evaluate a square we know this is equal to 0 uh, 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 0 okay this is the answer